There's nothing that can discourage an offense more than looking up at the scoreboard and seeing you're losing the game but drastically outshooting your opponent. That was the case Friday night for the Quinnipiac men's ice hockey team. Some teams let that get to them, some bounce back. Luckily for the Bobcats, they didn't have much time to think about it with a quick turnaround playing the same main team the next night. Quinnipiac wanted to bounce back. Just ask why Bon Giovanni. I think we got to play to our identity. Um, we'll, we'll be successful tomorrow. It looked like things weren't going to change when Maine's first shot of the game got past Keith Petrozelli putting the Black Bears up early. But something was different for the Bobcats in this game. Unlike Friday night, Quinnipiac answered right away. Only 38 seconds later, Michael Lombardi got the crowd back in the game, igniting the offense that couldn't finish just the night before. Quinnipiac finished the first period with two more goals by Ethan Lay and Ethan DeYoung, all credited to one thing in particular. If you've ever spoke with Rand Pecknell, you'll know that culture, attitude, and buy-in are the three main things that he stresses to his team both on and off the ice and was the difference between last night's loss to Maine and today's win against Maine. I thought tonight we were a little more honest. I still don't think we played our best game tonight. We still have a little ways to go. We got a lot of freshmen and some older guys that need to get back into the, the way they played last year. I just thought we bought in a lot more. You know, guys are forechecking, doing the little things. I mean, you saw at the end why Bon Giovanni has a great shot block there with, you know, less than a minute left. I mean, that type of stuff. I, you know, we didn't see as much of it last night, unfortunately. But, you know, as a group, we just want to start, you know, playing more to our, our identity there. The Bobcats will look to continue to buy into the system and carry the momentum from this win into their next game on Sunday, October 27th against Vermont at home. Reporting from Hamden, Patrick Flatley, Q30 Sports.